Hello, I'm Dr. Paulo Pergola. I'm a clinical associate professor of medicine at UT Health San Antonio and the research director of Renal Associates PA in San Antonio, Texas, United States. I will be talking to you about the trial results for the Rockies anemia study in dialysis-dependent CKD uh, patients. The Rockies was an international phase three randomized open-label active control study of Roxadustat for anemia in dialysis-dependent CKD. As you're aware, Roxadustat is a um, HIF PHI that has been studied for the treatment of anemia in patients with chronic kidney disease on dialysis. It is currently approved in China for non-dialysis-dependent and dialysis-dependent patients and in Japan for dialysis-dependent patients. As I mentioned, the Rockies was a phase three study on the efficacy and safety of the HIF-PHI Roxadustat in an international dialysis population with anemia. The key inclusion criteria included uh, adults receiving hemo or peritoneal dialysis for at least two weeks with anemia, receiving an erythropoietin analog with a hemoglobin less than 12 grams per deciliter, and if they were not receiving an analog, the hemoglobin at entry was less than 10 grams per deciliter. They needed to have a transferrin saturation of at least 20% and a ferritin more than 100 nanograms per milliliter. The trial design included uh, a screening period followed by a one-to-one -one randomization of patients to receiving the oral HIF-PHI roxadustat three times a week or to receive parenteral erythropoietin alpha dosed as per the clinic protocol. The dosing of roxadustat followed a protocol required adjustment. 2,133 patients were included in the study and equally distributed between the roxadustat and the uh, erythropoietin groups with similar number of patients completing the trial, about 980 patients in each group. The baseline characteristics were well, well distributed among the two groups. Uh, patients were receiving an ESA, a study entry, and the majority of them were made this criteria. And as we mentioned, they could be included without ESAs, but the hemoglobin at entry had to be less than 10 grams per deciliter. The average hemoglobin at entry was right at 10 grams per deciliter for both groups. This trial met the primary efficacy endpoint with uh, the hemoglobin change from baseline to average hemoglobin of weeks 28 to 52 with a 0.77 gram per deciliter increase in the Roxadustat group and a 0.68 gram per deciliter increase in the epoetin alpha group. The hemoglobin rise was a little steeper in the um, Roxadustat group, but the groups were similar after the first uh, 18 weeks and hemoglobin levels were maintained at the goal for both groups throughout the duration of the study. Treatment with Roxadustat resulted in a measurable and significant decrease in hepcidin levels, were significantly uh, lower than the the small decrease that was noted in the patients on erythropoietin, and also a significant decline in ferritin, that again was uh, significantly more than the decrease noted in the patients on uh, erythropoietin. Treatment with roxadustat resulted in an increase in serum iron, uh, and a small decrease was noted in patients on uh, erythropoietin. There was no significant difference in the number of transfusions that were administered to patients in each group. There was a, a significant decrease in the amount of IV iron used uh, by patients on roxadustat compared to patients on erythropoietin. Roxadustat worked as well in patients with inflammation uh, uh, selected by elevated um, CRP above the upper limit of normal with um, a similar adverse effect profile 
with no difference in the number of serious adverse events or all-cause mortality. In conclusion, compared with erythropoietin alpha, roxarustat increased the hemoglobin at least as effectively in dialysis patients with anemia, increased hemoglobin more effectively in those with inflammation, required significantly less monthly IV iron use, and treatment with roxadustat resulted in a lowered hip siding to a greater extent than patients on erythropoietin. Common adverse events with roxadustat were generally similar to those of erythropoietin alpha and commonly found in dialysis-dependent patients like the ones included in this study. I thank you for your attention and invite you to stay with us for the next presentation.